customize your own t-shirt, your home, your office, your automobile, when you can do it all with Turtles Custom Graphics. That's right, Turtles Custom Graphics let you customize literally everything. Just look for them on Facebook under Turtles Custom Graphics. Saturday, May 10th, West Virginia Championship Wrestling will be rocking and rolling and strutting and strolling when Ricky Morton, one half of the legendary Rock and Roll Express, will be in the house for the next huge WBCW TV taping. Live at the Princeton Rec Center, Princeton, West Virginia. You've got to be there, folks. Ricky Morton, live in action. One night only, May 10th. Rec Center, Princeton, West Virginia. Be there. We good? We good? Yes, sir. Everybody's mic's on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Ready to rock and or roll. Rock and or roll as we have our opening contest here. Frank the Tank Parker, the current reigning WVCW heavyweight champion, taking on Danny Romero and joining us here at the broadcast booth. Not only my weekly partner every, each and every week, except for two last week, <laughs> uh, Jeff Griffith, we have none other than the real heat miser, Scotty Blaze. Thanks for having me here tonight. Welcome we got a to the nice, booth, Scott. Nice matchup between Frank Parker and Danny Romero. And Danny Romero's on the receiving end of that shoulder tackle there. Yeah, Danny Romero, I mean, he's got to realize he's in there with one of the more powerful guys in the roster right now and air champ. But a huge opportunity for him to impress some people. For sure, I agree. As here, Danny Romero taking on Frank the Tank Parker, the curtain reigning WVCW heavyweight champion. And I honestly believe if it wasn't for uh, Baron Buller, Jack Miller could very well be the heavyweight oh, champion. Look at this. I, well, that yeah, it's possible. But I, look at this. Danny Romero got Frank Parker on his back. That's something I would not expect to see. You know, me and Frank Parker go way, way, way back. We battled each other all over and up and down the East Coast. And I'm shocked to see this. Yeah, very impressive out of the young Danny Romero. I got to say, but wow, that'll slow the momentum down, the body slam like that. Yeah, I think Frank Parker may have underestimated at first Danny Romero. Yeah, yeah that's something you don't want to do. Danny Romero may be still kind of fresh here in WVCW, but I tell you what, he he's he is a very talented kid. Oh, oh. well, maybe Vicious. not anymore. <laughs> well, I was saying Frank Parker may have you know a little uh, underestimated him at first momentary lapse, and when he realized he was in a uh, predicament he didn't want to be in on his back, he's focused now. So. I don't look for this to turn out good for Danny Romero. Trust me, I'm no fan of Frank Parker's. No. Oh, I just know wow. Frank Parker. Vicious, vicious clothesline by the heavyweight champion, Frank the Tank Parker and Danny Romero. Electrostatic out there even looks a little bit worried about Danny Romero. You know, it was just a few weeks ago that Danny Romero was actually taken out of action due to a cut over his eye. The doctor had him take a couple weeks off, mm -hmm. and we've seen him back here a couple weeks now, but I don't think – it was very smart of him to get right back in the ring with Frank the Tank Parker. Well, you know, he's looking to make his mark, and Frank Tar Parker is the, the WVCW heavyweight champion. He wants to go after it. And I mean, honestly, though, no matter what happens here, how invaluable is it as a young wrestler just to be in the ring with a guy like Frank Parker? He's got to, I mean, the experience itself has got to be worth it. Well, I mean, you're going to learn, and that's all that he can do. You know, I, I don't. You know, I hate to be judgmental, but I don't look for this to be a favorable outcome for Danny Romero. Oh. But when, when he does go back and look at tape of this, he's going to see what he did right, what he did wrong. And anytime you're in there with somebody like Frank Parker who has, what, 24 years experience, 20, somewhere around there, you're going to learn. You know, it's called hard knocks learning. Oh, absolutely. And look at this. Oh, but look at this. Romero showing a little bit of fire here. Attempted to pull a little bit of a comeback. Yeah, the kicks right there to the back of the knee, back oh, of the thigh oh, area, and a big knee, knee, big flying knee, Harley race style right there in the shoulder of Frank the Tank Parker, knocking the big man down to the ground. Now where is Danny Romero going to go next as he climbs the turnbuckles? This is a mistake, I believe. He should have went for the pin there. He should have went for the pin. Now he's this, trying to get the crowd behind him. This could be a big mistake by Danny Romero. Comes oh, over the cross, buddy block. Strength. 
and he was just caught. He was just caught by our heavyweight oh. champion and body slam right there in the ring. You know what I'm noticing here in this match especially, a body slam may seem like a basic wrestling move, but when a man like Frank Parker picks you up and slams you down, the impact that I'm seeing. Rem oh! Oh, and what a move there by Frank. The Tate Parker goes for the cover. One, two, three. Fans, there are your winner, Frank the Tate Parker. And I'm now going to go to an interview that we got from. Y'all pick up one of my autobiography. It's called, Woo, Messy Daddy. Welcome to my world, the Jimmy Valiant story. 566 pages, hot bag. It weighs three pounds. Hey, buy two copies. Put one in each hand. Work out with them, baby. Oh, yeah. even had this company they it wasn't beef jerky it was like a beef jerky stick mm -hmm. I think it was ostrich sticks and they called them stallion sticks and with his picture on them like that the rest on toes and <laughs> nobody I don't know how many people remember them or not but standing here with me the man that will face Frank Parker at Miracle on the Mountain the mighty Hojo. That's right, Foster. Miracle on the Mountain, May 31st. Finally, I get a shot. Now, did I expect the shot? No. I wasn't even entered in that Rumble Royal at, at Spring Break Bash. Someone put me in it. Whoever it was, thank you. Because now I have a chance for Phil Destiny, something that's eluded me for a long time. The first 12 years of my career, I was a running joke, running around in bib overalls. The next eight years, because right now this year is my 20th year, I've had to try to live down the first 12. And here's my chance. West Virginia title is coming to me, Frank Parker. You enjoy yourself. <laughs> Saturday, May 10th, West Virginia Championship Wrestling will be rocking and rolling and strutting and strolling when Ricky Morton, one half of the legendary Rock and Roll Express, will be in the house for the next huge WBCW TV taping. Live at the Princeton Rec Center, Princeton, West Virginia. You've got to be there, folks. Ricky Morton, live in action. One night only, May 10th. Rec Center, Princeton, West Virginia. Be there. Hojo's going to kill you. These fans are behind Hojo. Calling everybody like up to the turnbuckle. Uh, 
He's laying his forearms in on the back. Snap bear by Hojo. Working at reverse chin lock now. Yeah, uh, as, as Mighty Hojo is taking it straight to downtown Bubba Brown. Earning that title shot for Miracle on the Mountain, going for the West Virginia heavyweight title with Frank the Tank Parker. Oh, did you see that one? That was a hard chop to the chest. Oh, and another big chop to the chest right there by the mighty Hojo. You know, just watching that interview that you conducted, it seems like he's got a, a, a deeper passion for that heavyweight title now. Talking about his first 12 years, now he's going to uh, create a whole new emphasis on himself, going for that West Virginia heavyweight title. Oh, caught him right there in that turnbuckle. Yeah, Mighty Hojo definitely taking it straight to downtown Bubba Brown here. Just knocks him down to the mat. What's he going to do, Nate? Oh! Oh, no! Eric, I'm not describing that when that's all yours, buddy. No, that I, I can describe that in two words. Not pleasant. Don't ask me about that one. I won't ask you about that one. But back to the match. Got him up for a body slam. Big body slam by the Mighty Hojo. Right down on him. Hojo's got him now. Hojo's been in full control of this match. Rares back. Punch to the jaw. I've been on a receiving end of a few of those. I'm glad I had dental insurance. Drops the elbow no, on him. No kidding. Big elbow there. One, two, three. We got the three count. There's the three count. There's your winner, the mighty Hojo fans. With the words that he said at the beginning of the, ma at the show, He's going after that heavyweight title. Fans, we'll, yeah, we'll be back right after this. This is Mr. Number One, George South. You know, I've been in this wrestling business for over 40 years, and I'm here to invite all of you great wrestling fans. If you haven't got it yet, there's not many of you left. The second greatest book ever written. Dad, you don't work, you wrestle. Go to georgesouth.com, order yours today. Get a free autographed picture with it. Thank you. Saturday, May 10th, West Virginia Championship Wrestling will be rocking and rolling and strutting and strolling when Ricky Morton one half of the legendary Rock and Roll Express will be in the house for the next huge WBCW TV taping. Live at the Princeton Rec Center, Princeton, West Virginia. You've got to be there, folks. Ricky Morton, live in action. One night only, May 10th. Rec Center, Princeton, West Virginia. Be there.
Saturday, May 10th, West Virginia Championship Wrestling will be rocking and rolling and strutting and strolling when Ricky Morton, one half of the legendary Rock and Roll Express, will be in the house for the next huge WBCW TV taping. Live at the Princeton Rec Center, Princeton, West Virginia. You've got to be there, folks. Ricky Morton, live in action. One night only, May 10th, Rec Center, Princeton, West Virginia. Be there.